This is five things that martial artists need to do for better mental health. My name is Dr. Brian Stoops. Uh, I'm sure non-martial artists will still get something out of this if they want to take the five ideas and apply them in their own lives. This is a super important slide before we get going. This video is not to serve as a substitute for professional counseling services. I'm a martial artist and an educator in New York City. I have a doctor of education degree. I am not a mental health professional. If you are genuinely in crisis, please do not harm yourself. Call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline right now. The number is below. Please pause this video immediately. Right now, do not hesitate. If you are genuinely in crisis, pause the video and call this number now. Okay, for those moving on with us here, uh, just admit it. I'm recording this in late April of 2020, so we're all still hip deep in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, as martial artists, we're the rocks that people usually turn to in our lives. Our students count on us to be instructors, guides, counselors, father and mother figures, and sometimes almost clergy-like figures in their lives. We're still playing those roles even during a global pandemic. We do amazing things as martial artists and we are very strong, but let's admit that these are uncertain times and feeling nervous, fearful, uncertain, or even occasional dread is completely understandable. So let's give ourselves permission to be human. And so here's five things that martial artists can do right now for better mental health. So number one, start saying no. How many things that you don't actually want to be doing are you regularly doing for the sake of your martial arts practice? Lately, I'm really fond of saying that our time is our most precious, non-renewable natural resource. So let's honor that. I'm very aware of what activities I want in my life and the people with whom I enjoy spending my time. And I'm at a point where I don't want to do the things that I don't enjoy anymore as part of my martial arts practice. So are there training events, classes, summits, or generally any other activities in your martial arts practice that you don't genuinely enjoy? And this kind of forced transition to everybody being at home, this is a really great opportunity for you to define the things that you really want and reject the things that you don't want. So number two, take control or purge toxicity. Martial arts are a buyer's market. There are so many people putting out so much content, teaching so many classes now. There's really no reason to stay with the Cobra Kai sensei type of person. Uh, try to have honest, earnest conversations with these people. They might not necessarily be instructors. They might be colleagues or people that play other roles in your martial arts practice, try to salvage the relationship by, by making it really explicit what you want, right? And, and really try to make things the way that you want them to be. And if that doesn't work, terminate the relationship, purge the toxicity from your life, from your martial arts practice. Number three, quantify your achievements. It's super easy for martial artists to lose sight of all that they've accomplished make a list, a literal list of as many of your martial arts achievements as possible. Write them down or type them out. Go beyond just black belts and instructorships. Recall moments of perseverance, serving as a guide, great memories, giving advice, trying to help, times that you were there to actually help, etc., and so on. Uh, and note, this is very hard for martial artists because we just achieve and achieve and achieve. Um, here I'm asking you to actually quantify, write down, or type out all of those achievements. Number four, give regrets a name and take action. Spend some time defining if you have any authentic regrets as far as your martial arts practice. This can be as simple as sitting down with a piece of paper or opening up a word processing document, maybe reflecting for 15 minutes, writing down or typing out what comes to mind. Look at your list. Decide if it's possible to resolve any of those regrets. Then take action. Have conversations. Send messages. I mean, really imagine that your window to resolve things is closing. I mean, it is because the amount of time we have in this life is finite. But imagine that it's closing way more rapidly. 
all right? How can you try to eliminate those sources of regret from your life? And then number five, piz, uh, pivot, pardon me, pivot whenever necessary. In our lives in martial arts, or if our lives in martial arts are a marathon and not a sprint, well, sometimes our mindset looks different at mile 17 than versus when we started. It can be awfully hard to admit that the vision that started our journey is no longer guiding us to where we want to go or to the destination that best suits the present moment in our lives. Sometimes we can't even remember what we wanted or who we were hoping to be when we started our journey because our journey has been going for so long. So don't hesitate to change course or alter your strategy or redefine what you want. Your martial arts pivot might involve a period of mourning as far as your former vision. Your letting go is something that was important to you. So mourn that vision for a time, but then move on and fully embrace your new path. So just a quick reminder here, these were the five steps to better mental health for martial artists or frankly anybody who wants to implement these five steps. Number one, start saying no. Number two, take control or, or uh, take control of or purge toxicity. Number three, quantify your achievements. Number four, give regrets a name and take action. And number five, pivot whenever necessary. So um, I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are. Do you agree with my list? Did I miss anything? Please let me know in the comment section. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel right now and turn on your notifications so that you'll be alerted when I release new content. If you'd like information about my online martial arts practice as a martial arts instructor, please go to stoopsomalc.com. And if you'd like a free digital copy, free digital download of my book, Career Command, through Filipino martial arts, go to careercommand.org right now. And once again, as I like to say, and I said I like to say it earlier, thanks for sharing with me your most precious non-renewable natural resource. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.